What's up, peeps? Another episode of the Frankie Freak Show here. Uh, December 6th. Don't forget, another episode, December 12th. Make sure you subscribe, get yourself entered to win one of these puppies. Obviously, this one is mine, but I have one here, still waiting. So make sure you subscribe, give me some likes, and always just, you know, leave me some comments. All right, so let's talk. We got our Phantom. This is the one that took a dive on me. Uh, she crashed, um, hit about, you know, 100 feet in the air, hit a brick building, and then tumbled on me. So, unfortunately, because it's raining out, I can't take it out and do a test flight with it. So I'm going to do one inside just to make sure that the motor seems to be functioning properly. I also have another video coming out that I think is going to be a, uh, of a great interest to you. Um, showing you how to check the motors themselves to make sure that they're, you know, functioning properly. Uh, I will get that out shortly. Uh, in the interim, I'm going to do a test flight in-house right here. Uh, in manual mode and that's why I have my prop guards on uh, these are the quick connects that are a beautiful thing I got them I think it's Atlantic Hobby I'll, I'll verify it and I'll put the link in the description uh, it's a beautiful thing very quick and easy you put your your prop guard on on an angle push in and that's it she's on real quick and easy so now let's uh, Pop this bad boy down, turn our transmitter on, turn this on again. We're going to be flying in manual mode, so if you have very little experience, uh, don't do this inside. Again, it's raining outside, so I have no choice, but I wanted to get, uh, I want to replace that gimbal unit um, that's broke on that Phantom. And I also want to do an inspection because of the crash. So now I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to lift it up a little bit. And kind of just briefly test the motors slightly. And again, if you don't have experience in manual mode, don't do it in the house. Or if you do, get prop guards. It's going to get a little loud, obviously. So it seems to be functioning fine. Um, I tested my left and my right. The motor sounded fine. Uh, I didn't hear anything funny. Um, but I am regardless going to replace the motors on this because when it, when it crashed, it crashed on concrete. Uh, like I said, about 100 feet in the air. Again, these prop guards are beautiful because you just got to lift up and pull out. And they're very easy to get on and off. Um, again, I'll put the link on. So now, as I was saying, when I crashed, I was about 100 feet in the air. I hit a brick, brick building. Uh, and then she tumbled to the floor. She was out of my sight, which you're not supposed to do, but I did it. She was out of my sight, so I didn't see uh, her crash um, until it was too late. And she was sitting uh, on the ground. And as you can see, if you look here... You'll see where there's damage to the body of the uh, the Phantom, which is right here. You can see some damage here on the motors. You'll see here. Let me get a some damage there and damage uh, here. And you can see this lip is a little bent in. So that tells me that when she crashed, she must have crashed like that. And because she crashed, the props were on, they broke, but the props were still on, preventing the motor from allowing it to spin while it was in the crash mode, uh, which 
I, again, it, it could have been doing that for a couple minutes, and I feel like that this these two motors might possibly have suffered some you know damage because you know they were trying to spin like this laying on the ground but the props wouldn't let them so uh, maybe they got burnt up a little bit so stay tuned I will have a video uh, the second part of this coming up shortly that will cover on how to replace this bad boy and how to do an inspection on the Phantom